In this video, five things I'm willing to give up to make a safer America. So Lola and I are on vacation, and once again, there are broken people among us that have decided to wreak havoc on the country. And the politicians out there are calling for assault weapons bans, gun control, red flag laws. What's my response to that? This. Okay, that was a little bit of a clickbait scenario. I'm willing to admit that because really I'm not willing to give up one inch. I'm tired of giving up and giving in, compromising for the better good. Broken people out there will always be willing to break the laws to reap destruction on their fellow man. So how about we rewrite that to five things that the folks out there who think we need more laws to solve the problem should be willing to give up to make a safer America. Number one, gun-free zones. They never worked and they never will. As a matter of fact, the broken people out there always seek them out. They look for these gun-free zones and that's where they wreak the most havoc when no one's there to resist them. Let's get rid of gun-free zones. They're not working. They never will work. Number two, stop infringing on the Second Amendment. It was designed for these dark days and will bring us back to better days. Everyone doesn't have to use it, but every single one of us was born with the right to defend ourselves, our loved ones, and our fellow man. Get out of the way of those of us who live the 2A every day. Forget the idea of a police officer on every corner and embrace the idea of a sheepdog or two on every block. More cops means more laws and more of our money usurped by politicians and less freedom. Stop treating the idea of arming school teachers and other school workers who are willing to defend our children as unreasonable. When it comes to the safety of our kids, it's the only practical way forward. You don't have to force anyone who's unwilling to stand up. Many are willing to stand up and defend our children. And they will be willing to rush in where many others have cowered outside. And lastly, number five, forget the politicians. Walk away from the old impractical approach to politics. Those on the left or the right don't serve the greater good of America or any nation. We are more complicated now than just Republicans or Democrats. Except for this, we all want freedom, happiness, and peace, and that should be the American dream. And most of us, regardless of what path we walk, know that these things must be defended to be real and everlasting. So those are some quick ideas that I have I wanted to share with you guys. What do you think? What are your ideas? What do you think is going to work here? Let me know. Leave it in the comments. I can tell you guys that Lola and I, we're both life members of the GOA, and we encourage people to go out there and support the Second Amendment organization of your choice. I would ask you to also encourage those around you to participate in this freedom and encourage them to spend their time and energy preparing for the fight. For those of us that believe in the Second Amendment, times like this can be tough, but don't allow that to discourage you. The few broken, evil people out there in our society can never outnumber us unless we allow them to. On behalf of myself, Lola, and the rest of our family, stay safe, be prepared. See you guys soon. Peace.